try to figure out how to stop complaining all the time are actually solving the problem If my house is clean, you feel better. What my yeah. brain is like, yeah. I can think clear. Yeah. When I have like a super clean house, mm -hmm. and also if I feel like I'm struggling mentally, I clean it. Mm -hmm. Like I, it's something about putting that energy into something like else. organization. Yeah. Like if I get my house way, organized, if I get this organized, absolutely. I can get my mind organized. Absolutely. What I've recommended to people is clean up your room. That's a good start. Organize your local landscape. Schedule your time. Start taking control of yourself. See if you can stop saying things you know to be lies. It's not small. You think it's small. It's not small. I had a girl come up to me last night at the end of my talk, and this happens all the time. She said, I started cleaning up my room last year, and it completely changed she said, your room is an externalization of your mind. And that's right. That's exactly true. To the degree that you're in your room, the room is you. Now, that isn't how people think, but that's okay. It doesn't matter if they think that way. That's how it is. So straighten up what you can straighten up and quit saying things that make you feel weak. And then, then you'll know what to do next. Keep showing up. If no one invests in you, invest in yourself. If no one believes in you, believe in yourself. Even if you don't see the results right away, keep showing up until you do see the results. Even if you don't see the results for a very, very long time, keep showing up.
What if the results don't come? They're not going to come if you quit. Keep showing up. I'm tired. Keep showing up. I don't feel like it. Keep showing up. I can't see any results. Keep showing up. I don't know where to start. Just start. Do something. Because if we remember, God doesn't make mistakes. And if he called you into that position, no matter how overwhelming the position is, it's because he believes that you are the woman for the job. And so our task then becomes to ask God, what is it that you know about me that would have you place me in this position? Because if you place me in this position, then you know something about me that I don't know yet. And sometimes our greatest prayer should be, God, would you open up my eyes so that I can see who I am supposed to be in your kingdom, that I would not compare myself to everything that came before me or the things coming up behind me, but that I would trust that you place me in this position because no one else could do it like me. You're a big girl now. Try to figure out how to stop complaining all the time and start actually solving the, the problems on your own. 
you know, for example, if you feel like you're not happy, figure out on how you're going to be happy. If you have kids one day and you're not happy, you're going to have to get it together for them. You got a family to feed. You got a big career here. Get yourself together. Nobody's in charge of your happiness. You got to grow up. That's what I'm telling myself. So I, you know, that's exactly what I did.